The 6x9 Alisac is a very similar size to the mil-spec document pouch that Nutton Fancy uses for his level 1 first aid kit. I'm going to use the same nomenclature that he uses as most of the viewers that are checking out my YouTube channel will uh, be familiar with that nomenclature. I want you to know that I'm not copying um, Nutton Fancy's level 1 first aid kit. I've, I've had this kit in my bag um, way before I even was on YouTube or even was familiar with uh, Nutton Fancy. So I don't want you to think that I'm copying him. This is uh, mainly using his same nomenclature because that's what you guys are going to be familiar with. Okay, we're going to be getting ready to do the review on the Level 1 Mod 2 Personal First Aid Kit. I wanted to go over real quick the label. The label is printed on waterproof paper. Um, a common brand is the National Geographic Adventure Paper. This is available at most sporting goods stores as well as REI. The label is available as a PDF download and the link for that is in the sidebar notes. In the same folder from the bunker documents you'll also find a four page color instruction on how to put together an emergency heater in a can as well as the uh, notes for the four video series suturing in an austere environment. The sack that I use for the personal first aid kit is a 6x9 aloe sack bag. They're available online at most sporting good and outdoor supply stores as well as REI. One thing I like to do with these bags as well as with Ziploc bags is remove the labeling. That just makes a cleaner bag I think for my purposes. Let's go over how to do that. So the best way to do that is to take uh, just denatured alcohol and here's a Alisac that I've had in my briefcase for a long time. I use this um, to keep my cell phone in if I'm going to be outdoors and I need to keep it uh, out of inclement weather. All you do is just take a paper towel, get it damp with denatured alcohol and these labels just come right off pretty easily. So there's a Ziploc bag that's clean and in preparation for assembling a level one first aid kit let's get the label off this aloe sack. All right, doesn't hurt the bags at all, and I think just a little bit cleaner, easier to see what's going on inside. Let's go over one more trick that you can do with Ziploc bags. You can do these with the Alisac bag as well. They're made out of Mylar, and that is using a heat seal device. This is basically just a uh, tabletop uh, seal and save. Um, in this case it's uh, Sears. I don't think they make these anymore but I've seen them in garage sales but um, any of the uh, bag sealers with a hot uh, sealing bar will work. And one thing I do is just take a Ziploc bag and I know this is going to cause a lot of eyebrows to be raised but um, just want to address the issue of being sterile in the field. Quite honestly that's a misnomer. There's nothing you're going to do out in the field that's sterile. Everything you're going to do is a uh, clean procedure at best. So one thing I do is just repackage 4x4s in a Ziploc bag which just makes a thinner more compact package. And the way that works is you just put this in this sealer you just depress the uh, sealing bar. I usually count to about 10 and then I can just kind of pull this bag off and I've started to um, compress this and I'll just do it one more time to get a nice tight package. Count to 10 
and there you have it. There's a nice little packet of uh, four by fours and um, you don't have all those individual paper envelopes. This is a much nicer, thinner, compact way to carry these. And again, they're very, very clean. I did take them out of a sterile pack to make it a tighter package. Not sterile anymore, but um, in the field, to be honest, you're not doing sterile procedures and thinking that you need to keep things sterile is a little bit silly. What you need to think of is clean procedures and this satisfies that very well. Alright guys, thanks for watching.